All right, hola, bienvenidos, what's up, everybody? Now, I was asked to do a comparison on the backpacks. I did mention that the uh, MB5B, the MB4B, are essentially based off that MB3 or 3B um, bag, just in backpack form, but I did notice they were a little bit bigger, so, which is a good thing, because I thought when people were like, oh, you should turn your MB3 or MB2 into a backpack. I thought those were too small. So they did make them slightly bigger. As you can see here, somebody asked me about the uh, Tech Pack MC because that's a backpack that I used to rock. And if you want to put them side by side, they are actually very, very similar. So this uh, Tech Pack is a backpack if you want and I love this bag. I just, I switched out to a different bag that I'll have to get my tools out of for this video. But um, I essentially love this bag because you set it down and you can open up both sides. I always used this one and the one that I'm currently using as install bags or change outs or any major repair where I can sit this down and just work out of it. Um, this, on the other hand, is more of a service or any other kind of work where you only have one side that opens up, right? Your tools are all visible on that one side and you can work out of it um, doing repairs or service kind of work. So both cool, both for different uses in my mind. Very easy to get, out of the, get stuff out of this one and work out of it on a daily. This one obviously is gonna be a little bit heavier. You gotta disengage the uh, backpack straps to get to the back side where it's work. That's where I kept most of my like meter, electronic uh, probes, you know, stuff like that. All the sensitive stuff I kept, kept on this side and then all my screwdrivers and pliers were on the front. So let me, uh, let me uh, get my tools out of the other bag, which I'll do a video on that too. And then we'll load out both of these and see what we can fit in both. All right guys, so I dumped out everything I had or mo this is most of it. There, there's still a few things I got to take out of the pouches and we'll figure that out in a minute. But this is mostly what I use on, uh, on the bigger bags, the install bags that I, that I normally load out, right? So if I go to a job site and I'm going to be sitting there for a while doing a cold change out or installing a new like condenser or unit, whatever it is, I can get away with most of everything you see here on the table. Like I said, there's a few things missing on the outside pockets over there. And, you know, it's a, it's a dedicated set of nut drivers, some individual wrenches and doubles of like certain pliers. So we're going to put it in this MB5B and I'll see how much I don't like, I don't think it's going to fit in there, but, um, just to show you what something like this can carry load out versus something like a, a, a backpack that's double sided. And I think I mentioned, I would recommend this for something like service or, or any kind of repairs that you guys do that can carry a lot. Like they do give you a lot with these uh, side pouches and you do have a back panel. I mean, it, it's not completely one-sided. There is a back panel to this. Now, normally you're gonna be putting like a laptop. Um, I've used it to put in temperature uh, clamps, which I don't have in this bag. I usually take a set of like my, my S-Man field piece that has, uh, you know, it's a complete manifold with the, with the uh, clamps on the side. I'll normally take something like that with that bag. So I don't carry, like I don't really carry like probes and, and clamps and all that in that bag. Um, that's always gonna be separate, depending if I wanna get a manifold or my probe set like Whatever the job calls for, whatever I feel like I need that day is what I'm going to carry. The, mo the main thing that it carries is going to be like my tools. So let's load that out real quick and uh, see what it ends up fitting. And um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. So nut drivers, wrenches. Okay. Put our wrenches in here. So you have two sides to this, right? So I could put, well, you can put screwdrivers here. 
Maybe your main ones, or, or maybe your main ones should be on this side, no? Main screwdrivers, you know, your quarter inch or 516 on one end, and then your bigger nut drivers there, and then maybe some that you don't use as often in the back, or 11 30 seconds, or insulated. Um, I thought I had more, but yeah, you can put those there. Uh, put our cutters on this side. I mean, now the bonus is you get these uh, meter pouches on the outside. So like you do get these, these cool little inserts that you can remove. So these are gonna carry, um, you know, some, some nut drivers, screwdrivers or, or pliers in here. But if you take it out and you wanna throw a meter in here, right? So let's throw our SC480 ow in here. You can have a meter there. That's why, that's why I recommend this one the most and that's why people like this one the most because uh, the 680, which I like to use, does not fit in uh, most of these uh, meter pouches that you find on these bags. And then on the other side is where we can put maybe some wrenches, maybe not. Okay, 10 inch won't fit in here. So, I mean, honestly, you could throw them in inside on the sides, what have you. Um, there are pockets here too, but I wouldn't be able to use those. You can possibly, I wonder if this is what it's for too. They sell a bunch of these that you can stuff on the insides of like this and the TP double XL blackout. Um, and then like they're meant to take out, right? If you don't want them, or if you put them in your pocket, they fit in your back pocket and then stick there. But, um, yeah, you can put wrenches in here. Uh, let's see if these smaller ones kind of fit. Yeah, not really. So put our sets of uh, channel locks and pliers wrenches there. And then any odd shaped stuff. It's not gonna fit in there. So, I mean, you can, right? I put, I managed to put most of what was on this table in here. It's just not as neat as I would like it, you know, on a bigger bag, but I put all my pliers in here, my snips, um, all the nut drivers, wrenches are, are packed in here too. Um, the only thing I had to throw down here was like the, the pinch off tool and uh, some straps. You have a lot of these little pen style pockets right here. I, you know, I put in the, the little thin wrench that I had there and uh you know all like the pvc cutter fit over here with with some of the smaller uh pocket tools i put in the like some bit stuff the stubbies on this outside pocket and then we have um, another pocket in here that you could utilize or i could um for individual like this pipe cutter you can throw it in there and that all fits like it, it it's not a it's not a small bag by far and uh, we put the meter on this side right so we were able to fit quite a bit of of that in there and i still have not gotten around to the outside pockets on the front and back so like up here i could throw in i have my headlamp in there but i could easily throw in you know my socket set in there and then I don't know I'm just I'm just trying to fill it out uh, up here we could put our our jumpers right it's a snug fit but you can put jumpers in here uh, well these are alligator clips you could put like some smaller jumpers Maybe some wire nuts. I have a thermocouple here. Um, 
that is a little bit smaller than what I'm used to on some of the other ones, but it's a, it's a little pouch. And then you have, oh, you have, that's what I forgot about on this one. So you have this one, this pouch, like a uh, MB3 or any of those other uh, MB bags, but this one, they gave you an extra one. So they shortened this zippered pouch, but they gave you like an extra uh, stretchy type of pocket. I mean, you can throw in more jumpers or alligator clips in there. And then this pouch, I could throw in that, that wire connector set that I had. And it fits, so I'm actually surprised. And then we can go over here. And you can throw in even more stuff if you have something that's flat. I have uh, abrasive pads that I can throw in here. Um, temperature clamps, probes, stubby gauges. I've done all that back here. Just keep in mind, I mean, they do pad it pretty nicely, but keep in mind, whatever you keep back here is up against your back the whole time. So uh, just remember that and you'll be fine. I'm actually pretty impressed with, uh, with how that worked out. Everything else that I did not put in here is things that I clip on the side. So like the tape, my bit holders clip on the side, and then there's some like extension bits but all that could be fit in, in these little pockets down here. So I'm actually surprised. So I'm glad that I did this. Uh, somebody had asked me how, how does this MB3 be or MB5B compared to the bigger backpacks. And uh, I'll tell you what, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little packed, but you can make it work. And this is not even bulging out or anything. This is a, uh, I think I packed it to, you know, it's shape, original shape and all that. Um, obviously some people pack it out to, you know, stretch the limitations of the bags and they'll, they'll have it loaded out nicely, but I'm actually impressed with how much we put in. You, you do have a good amount of space between the panel and the pockets and then the, the, where it actually like comes down. So like I said, you can throw extra tools in here at the bottom and it's going to be still visible and accessible. So if you have anything you want to lay down, that totally works in this in this type of bag because in the tech pack um, backpack and even in the, the wheeler, you can't see the bottom of it. Um, and it could be because of all the pockets, but I think it's also how close the flap comes down to the, the pockets. If anything falls in there, you cannot, you won't know until you put your hand in there, dig around and find something. So the fact that you also have that at the bottom that you can see and put stuff there is really cool. You do have pockets here, but I wouldn't utilize those too much because you have no uh, room to pull up and pull out. But uh, it is what it is. Uh, you do also get these, uh, what do you call it? Uh, these little, I guess they're like bit storage pockets. So if you guys wanna put bits up here, you can, or little I use it, sometimes I'll put batteries, extra batteries, or uh, you know, little connectors in there, so wire nuts. Uh, this, I believe, is in metal. So if you guys have anything magnetic, um, you can put like a light up here. I don't think I have anything at the moment, but um, if you guys have a mag uh, light that has a magnet, you can kind of store it up here or use it to, some people use it to shine light down when they're working in the dark. And uh, that's a good option too. It can be your little spotlight. It helps you see at night. But uh, thoroughly, thoroughly impressed with this one. So that guys is the uh, MB5B. Actually was able to put everything that I carry. Uh, minus like the, the wiring. That was something that I put in that bag, uh, the Wheeler, because it had that, that uh, pouch in the front. I never carried too much wiring in this one, but if you guys wanted to see this one, so you can fill this one out more. And I liked that you could set it down and just kind of open the sides and then get to things. Um, this is a, I mean, you can kind of tell it's a little more crammed, right? So this, when you, when you step up to a tech pack, or bigger on the backpacks or this style of bag um, you're trying to get more 
separation, less crowd, crowded of uh, tool storage where you have essentially two sides. Uh, you have more pouches, so you get the same pouches on both sides, which I always utilized um, to keep things separate. Like my sockets would be in one pouch, um, my wire connectors would be in a different pouch, my headlamp would be in a different pouch. So I was able to do all that and then have everything I needed um, pretty accessible and in a tough, you know, nice, nicely little, nice little, uh, you know, backpack. So the bigger one is just to keep it less crowded. The smaller one can actually carry more than I thought it could. And, um, it's just, you know, what, what do you want to, what do you want to do with, with your tools, right? Um, the meter pouches are clutch because without these, this would not work at all your meter would take up one side of this of this panel right here so i'm actually you know surprised impressed this is actually a very good backpack no matter what you do if you have if you have a lot of hand tools it can handle that and then them adding this panel option that you can put on this uh this flap here gives you more storage because i always needed a, a boatload of uh of hand tools like uh, like dedicated nut drivers for certain jobs. That's why I keep it in this bag or in this uh, type of loadout and individual wrenches. So like I like to have a lot of screwdrivers and I couldn't do that on some of the smaller bags, right? It's very crowded and, uh, and you don't have all these um, vertical pouches. That's why I would always go to these bags because you had tons of, of vertical pouches and uh, you know, the panels are really cool. Like I said, you get more pouches with this, but the vertical storage on this is not bad on the MB5B. Um, it's more compact, so a little more crowded, and that's it. It can handle quite a bit more than I thought. And uh, originally I was saying this is more for service, this is more for install, uh, bigger jobs, but if you're really set on getting an mb5b you can actually carry quite a bit like i said this flap right here with the v-swap is clutch and the the meter pouches that's what makes this bag you know so unique and uh being able to have all these flaps on the outside um, because that's something that this one does not have and uh, actually if they would have done that on this one that would have been a game changer but it would probably would have made it too crowded the way this one is is laid out inside but Having big pouches on the outside is actually really cool. Like I only have a wire uh, connector set there, but you could have more pliers in here. You could have wire strippers. Um, you could throw in, like I threw them in here, but you could throw in your channel locks easily out here, right? And that, that fits nicely. On my everyday bag, I have my pliers on the outside on this flap right here. Um, because it's a nice tall uh, bag or pouch and you can drop a bunch of pliers in there you know they don't they're they're flat profiled and this little thin pouch is perfect for that so if you don't want to carry the the pliers like I said on the sides you can actually just throw those in the front and have them lined up right here on this big pouch you got more bit storage in here this is really good for odd little things you know smaller tools. I ended up putting a lot of them of, of, of my small tools on this side. And then you got more pouches on, on the bottom there. That, that, that's crazy. So if you guys are looking, you know, this is new. So this was not around when I was looking for backpacks. So I've really enjoyed the Tech Pack Blackout Edition, uh, specifically this one. And then I got a Wheeler that I'm trying out, which I'm really liking. But this one, for as compact as it is, is, is such a great uh, bag that they, that they did. I'm glad that they put together a Frankenstein of uh, different bags, you know, getting this from the TPXXL, the MB3 style, and then adding uh, panels to it and making it a backpack. Like, there's a whole bunch going on here. So that's the, uh, the comparison video of a small backpack versus a larger backpack. Um, these tools were also taken out of the uh, the larger um, tech pack. This is a tech pack MC. There is a larger tech pack, I believe, 
That's what my Wheeler is, and that's where these tools came from. So not only is it coming from this to this, but it's actually coming from the, the bigger backpack. So in essence, I can carry the same tools in all three backpacks, whether I go for the compact, the medium, or the large, they've all fit there. Now, I'm not somebody that overdoes it. I could, you, some guys easily have twice as many pliers and stuff like that. That's, where I, that's why I said you can carry them on the side and you can, you can utilize the front pouch a lot for pliers too. So if you guys carry more pliers than I do, go to town, right? You can actually put them in this bag and uh, be set. And like I said, the back pouch, that's essentially the same as the front. You can put more pliers in here if you just want something you know, to catch a bunch of uh, your tools right here. Um, this one, yeah, this one is just a big open pouch. Um, on some of the MB3s, there's pockets inside which can get in the way or if you utilize clamps, that's where you would put them. But this is just an open pouch. So if you want to throw in, you know, even more pliers back here, if you guys have a lot of pliers, so you can line them up right here and they fit all flat. And then there is cushion there for your back if you're using this as a backpack. So great. Um, this system, they're expanding on it. So stay tuned. Um, the backpack straps, they are removable. If you don't want to use that and you just want it as a handbag, you can do that too. So very versatile, very cool comparison that somebody asked for and I actually learned a lot here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you, hopefully you got something out of it. This was a question from a comment that I got or a message. So if you guys have any other bags that you want to see reviews on, maybe you haven't seen a good review on, on a bag that you're interested in. Um, I'm trying a lot of the uh, odd choice bags. Like I got the MB4B. I got a wrencher uh, bag. I got a, I got a couple of the wrencher bags and I'll be doing videos on those soon. If you guys have any requests, uh, more comparisons that you want to see what's, you know, what one bag can hold or, or, you know, should you get a small bag, a big bag, a medium bag, any type of question, just let me know. And I'll try to get that video out as soon as I can. I'm trying to get it trying to get these done before summer hits, before we get super busy. But uh, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, I appreciate you guys for coming out and watching. See you guys.